Hi, good morning everybody and once again welcome to Pankasa's Echelon Tutorials and in this today's session we are going to uh, continue with our IGCSC uh, curriculum and the subject being this uh, international mathematics okay the code for which is 0607 and uh, yeah this is for the ninth grade level the topic is numbers itself and the reference book as you as I told you it is Hodder's publication okay Today we are going to do something on uh, recurring decimals, okay? So I'll take you to the screen directly. Yeah, this was decimals, all this we have already covered. And let me start today with this. Uh, yeah, recurring decimal, okay? Now, what is this recurring decimal, right? Now, uh, whenever a fraction, you know, it is a uh, see a fraction you know i'll uh, once again tell you the details behind this fractions you know they can be either terminating or non terminating okay fractions can be terminating or non terminating right and if it is a uh, non terminating okay then again it can result in two cases that is recurring or non recurring okay so this recurring decimal comes over here right so when a fraction is uh, said to be recurring when of course it is non terminating okay so you will find certain fractions which are terminating. Terminating means you will always get a remainder as zero. Okay. You may take uh, quite some time. Okay. It will be a long division, but after some time, definitely you should get a uh, zero remainder if it is a terminating fraction. Okay. But if uh, after trying a lot, you know, it is impossible to get a remainder as zero, then those fractions are coming under the category of non terminating. Again, in non-terminating, you have two categories, that is recurring and non-recurring, okay? So, whenever the non-terminating fraction is such that after the decimal point, you know, certain number or a group of number keeps on repeating, okay? That is known as a recurring decimal, okay? And this uh, examples I have given here. Now, uh, these are some worked examples which are directly telling you to change a recurring decimal into a fraction okay so this is the that part of the uh, uh, thing that i want to uh, discuss that is how a recurring decimal can be converted into a fraction but first you should understand what is a recurring decimal so 0 0.7 bar is a recurring decimal the meaning of this is this number is 0 0.777 this 7 goes on repeating okay it will keep on coming okay and uh, it will never there's no end to that okay that is why it is known as 0 0.7 bar now when you put a bar or if you put a just a dot also that is also meaning the same thing okay so 0 0.7 bar or 0 0.7 dot means after the decimal point that seven number is going to come repeatedly this is an example of a recurring decimal okay there's one and never ever you are going to get any remainder as zero okay then uh, uh, this one is also a recurring decimal, okay, 0 0.37. Or you can write this as 0 0.37 and you can put two dots in top of 3 and 7, okay. This also means that this is a recurring, uh, recurring decimal and in this case, the repeated uh, group of numbers will be 3, 7, okay. So the meaning of this is 0 0.37 means 0 0.37, again you will get 37, again you will get 37. So this 37 in a group will keep on repeating. Okay. So this is also a repeated uh, recurring decimal. Okay. Sometimes you may get a number like this, uh, 0. Point, uh, let us take this one. Okay. Yeah. 0 0.4. 1, 7. Now, suppose they have put a dot on 4 and 7 only, okay, not on 1. The meaning of this is, this can be written as or 0 point now in the uh, form of bar, you can put the bar on all the 3, okay. Now, see, 
here you don't get uh, confused okay because there's a no dot on the one okay that doesn't mean that one is not recurring okay see whenever you have two digits recurring you can put the dots on two digit but whenever more than two that is three or four digits are getting repeated okay what you can do is you can put on the first digit and you can put on the last digit no need of putting the dot on the uh, uh, middle digits okay so here because there are three digits repeated 417 you have to put the dot only on the 4 and the 7 okay so that is the logic right so 0 0.417 and dot put on only 4 and 7 means it is 0 0.417 bar where 417 is repeated or you can say this is 0 0.417 again 417 again 417 that 417 part is getting repeated okay so these are the meaning of uh, recurring decimals and this is how you have to identify the recurring decimals now next thing that you should learn is how to convert a recurring decimal into a fraction see recurring decimal you will get from a fraction only what kind of fraction a non-terminating fraction isn't it so whenever a number is given in a recurring decimal form you should be in the position to find the corresponding fraction okay and that is what i'm going to discuss today in this session so suppose the first question is change 0 0.7 bar to a fraction and B is change 0 0.37 bar to a fraction. These are the two questions that I am going to start with. Now, how we have to do this? Now, you just uh, see the algorithm what I am doing. Okay. Now, let X be equal to 0 0.7 bar. The first thing that you have to do is whatever number is given in the uh, recurring decimal form that you have to equate to X and unknown okay so let x be equal to 0 0.7 bar this will mean that x is equal to 0 0.7777 you can write as many times okay but we write only few times right that's it now after the decimal point okay the bar is only on a single digit okay it's on only one seven okay it's only on seven so it's only on single digit so whenever you see that a bar is only on a single digit after the decimal point you have to do 10x. You have to multiply x by 10. Okay. By doing that, what will happen? 10x means 10 into x. So in this 0 0.777, if you multiply it by 10, it will become 7.777. Isn't it? The 77 will be repeated. Okay. So always you do that. Now what you do? This second equation that is 10x, you name it as 2. And this first equation, x equal to 0 0.777, you name it as 1. Then what you do? 2 minus 1 you do. When you do 2 minus 1 on the left hand side, 10x minus x will give you 9x. And on the right hand side, 7.777 minus 0 0.777 will give you 7. Okay. Now, from here, x will be equal to 7 upon 9. Now, this is the fraction that you get, 7 upon 9. Okay. So, what was the important point? The key point was, when there is a bar on a single digit, you have to start with a, a 10x. Okay. Now, let us try this one, 0 0.37. Now, in this 0 0.37, this one, okay, the bar is on the two digits, okay, 3 and 7. So, as usual, let x be equal to 0 0.37 bar. The meaning of this, you have, to, you have to write that x equal to 0 0.373737, that way, 37 is repeated. You write some two, three times, that's all, okay. Now, because the bar is on two digits, okay, you will have to multiply this x by 100, okay. So, 100x will be equal to, this x is this much, so 100x will be 37.37, right. 37.37, 37, it will go on repeated, okay. So, now you uh, uh, name this as equation 2, 100x, and x you name as equation 1, and then do 2 minus 1. So, equation 2 minus 1 will give you on the left hand side 100x minus 1x will be 99x and on the right hand side 37.37 minus 0 0.37 will give you 37. So, x will be equal to 37 upon 99. Now, this is the answer, the fraction that you needed. Here again, the key was, uh, the key point was whenever there are two digits, the bar is on the uh, two digits, okay, you have to uh, multiply x by 100. Got it? Chalo. Let us try some more. Change the following decimal to fraction. Now, here it is 0 0.737373. It is given in this way. Okay. 
doesn't matter. The bar is not given, but the meaning of this is nothing but 0 0.73 bar, isn't it? Because the in, in, in the form of bar, it is not given. It is given 7373. So you can see after the decimal, 73 is a group of number which is getting repeated. So you can write it as 0 0.73 bar. Or you can write it as 0 0.73 and you can put two dots on 7 and 3. Okay, this is also you can write. So as usual, let x equal to 0 0.737373. Now because the bar is on two digits, okay, you have to multiply by 100. So 100x will be equal to 73.73. That will be equation 2. Now equation 2 minus equation 1 will give you 100 minus x is, 100x minus x will be 99x on the left hand side. And here you will get 73. So x will be equal to 73 upon 99. Now this is the fraction corresponding to this recurring decimal. So 0 0.737373 is same as 73 upon 99. Is that clear? Chalo, let us do one more. Uh, 0 0.82. So let x equal to 0 0.8282. Now because the bar is on two digits, we will multiply by 100. So it will be 100x equal to 82.82. .82. Then 2 minus 1 will give you 100x minus x is 99x. And here 82.82 .82 minus 0 0.82 will be will give you 82. So x will be equal to 82 upon 99. This is the corresponding fraction. Got it? Now here 0 0.417 but the dot is only on 4 and 7. I told you if you come across such a number don't get confused. This is as good as 0 0.417 bar. Okay. So all the three are repeated. Don't think that this one is not getting repeated. Okay. So, 0 0.417. So, this can be written as 0 0.417, 417, 417. Okay? So, in a group, 417 will keep on repeating or it will be recurring. So, let x equal to 0 0.417, 417. That is equation number 1. Now, because the bar is on 3 digits, okay, 3 digits are covering the bar, you will have to multiply this x by 1000, isn't it? For one digit, you multiply it by 10. For two digit, you multiply it by 100. For three digit, you will multiply by 1000. Okay. So, this will make it 417.417. 100,000x will be, uh, be equal to 417.417. Now, this is equation 2. This is equation 1. If you do 2 minus 1, it will be 1000x minus 1x. That will be 999x. And here on the right hand side, you will get 417.417. .417 minus 0 0.417 will get as 417. So x will be equal to 417 upon 999. Is that clear? So that was D part of the C part of the question. Uh, let us do two more questions which are a bit tricky but uh, I'll tell you what you are supposed to do here in this case. Okay. Now suppose if you have a question like this. Okay. Uh, it is say uh, yeah you convert 0. Point, uh, what is the question yeah 6 4 and then a 3 bar okay so this you have to convert it okay into a fraction now this is slightly tricky okay this is not like the uh, uh, questions that we did so far okay now what is happening here is this uh, recurring number that is 3. Yeah, in this case, now this 0 0.643 bar is as good as 0 0.643 dot. It is as good as 0 0.6433. So 3 is getting repeated, isn't it? 3 is getting repeated. Okay, fine. Now, in such case, what you have to do is, first, what you have to do is, the, uh, if you see all these other numbers, you know, after the decimal point itself, the uh, recurring number was starting, okay, after the decimal point. But here, what is happening in this number, your uh, recurring number, that is 3, is not starting immediately after the decimal point. After the decimal point, you have this 6 and 4 also, okay. So, what you have to do is, first, you have to see that you are converting into a number which is of the form 0 point and then the recurring starts okay so this particular number let x equal to i'll write here 0 0.64 and then 3 bar 
okay now here this is different from other questions in a way that before this recurring starts you know there is this six and four in all the other questions it was not like that after the decimal point the recurring numbers were starting okay here the recurring number three is starting only after the decimal point but that is the six and four in between so you have to get rid of this okay so what you will do you will multiply this by 100 and when you do that what will happen this decimal will shift to this point two digits on the right so this will become 64.3 by isn't it 64.3 by now this is as good as the previous questions because after the decimal the recurring number is starting okay so can we write this as a 64.333 okay right. so this you take now as equation one isn't it now how many bar how many digits are having a bar only one digit so now you multiply this 100x by this 10 why 10 because there is only a uh, there's the bar or only single digit okay three so this will give you how much this will give you 100x into 10 will be 1000x which will be equal to on right hand side you will get what 60 643.333 this you take as equation 2 got it so these are the two equations 100x equal to this much and 1000x equal to this much this is equation 2 this is equation 1 now after doing this if you do 2 minus 1 equation 2 minus equation 1 what you will get on the left hand side you will get 1000x from equation 2 minus this 100x from equation 1 equal to on the right hand side it was 643.333 minus here you will get 64.333 isn't it this way now 1000 minus 100x 1000x minus 100x is 900x right and this will work out to 643 isn't it no not 643 uh, let us do that 643.333 minus 64.333 okay so this will become 000 and now 13 minus 4 is how much is it 9 yeah it has to be 9 no yeah so 9 and then 3 is uh, remaining here so 3 minus 6 so 13 minus 6 is how much 13 minus 6 is 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 7. And here you will get 5. Okay. So this will work out to uh, this will work out to what? 579. That's it. Okay. Point zero zero zero. So yeah, x will be equal to 579 upon 900. Okay, so this is the fraction form of this particular uh, recurring decimal. So this type of recurring decimal, okay, which do not, uh, the recurring part doesn't start immediately after the decimal point. Here you have to be a bit careful, okay. So I think uh, this recurring decimal uh, concept is very clear to you and uh, you can handle this part of this uh, decimals, uh, uh, this thing. And now in the next uh, session, we'll be continuing with the for the things that will come under numbers okay so we have already covered uh, fractions we have covered decimals and we have covered now recurring decimals okay and in the next video we'll see what we can start with till then goodbye good luck and if you happen to like my video okay please uh, subscribe my channel okay bye take care all of you